Okay, so in this problem it says, in outer space the distance an object travels varies directly with the amount of time it travels. If an asteroid travels 3,000 miles in 6 hours, how far could a person travel in 11 hours? So we're going to use what's called direct variation for this one. You can see that in the description of the problem it says varies directly. Um, on this, I don't think these are on your formula sheet, so you want to make sure this is in your box. Um, it might be, but double check. Uh, the formula for direct variation is y is equal to kx, and that's when y varies directly to x. So here, um, in our problem, it says the distance varies directly with the time, right? So you see we have distance and time are the two things. So to write our equation, your first step here is going to be to write the equation. Sorry about that. Um, so the equation, instead of y and x, we're going to have d for distance, k stays in the problem, and then we have t for time. k is what's called our constant of variation, and that's what we're going to work to find. So do you see up here in the second sentence, it tells us that if an asteroid travels 3,000 miles in six hours. So you can see they give us a distance of 3,000 when we have a time of 6. So now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute those values of d and t up here in the original equation so we can solve for k. So to do that, it's going to be 3,000 equals k, and then t we're going to put, um, sorry about that, for k or t we're going to put 6, right? And now how do we solve this? To solve for k, we just divide both sides by 6. So we divide this side by 6 and this side by 6. And we're going to get, and we get k is equal to 300 divided by 6 is 50. So now that we have k, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and you see our original equation up here. Um, Let's zoom out and take a look at the whole problem. You can see that we solved for the value of k, and we know that's 50. Let's plug it back in. So our new equation is going to be d is equal to 50t, because we now know the value of k is 50. And it says, how far could a person travel in 11 hours? Now we can answer the question. That's asking us how far when t is equal to 11. So we substitute that value of t right here, and we're going to get d is equal to 50, and then where we see t, we're going to open up a set of parentheses and we're going to put that value of 11 in there. And now 50, 50 times 11 is 550, so we get the distance is equal to 550. So an object can travel 550 miles in 11 hours.